Let's back out. That's a row. That's a row. That's our nav row container. Yeah, it should be in our container. Okay, and then we'll say dot row uh, dot footer. So we're gonna put the class of footer, and then I'm gonna do an hr with because there's this like rule here at the bottom. There is a rule there. And uh, can you guys see how small that is? I need to make that bigger. So style um, order top height, right? Is it height or width? Order top width uh, is going to be uh, 20 pixels. Is that the right? Oh, it is the right. <laughs> The top width is kind of strange to say, but anyway, uh, 10 pixels is good for that. Okay, so under this rule, we have one, two, three, four, five columns, but five doesn't divide cleanly into 12, which is Bootstrap's column, or grid column. So uh, let's just make it six, which means that each, each of these columns is gonna be two units wide, um, <clears throat> which means that we will, uh, Um, let's do a, a little multi-select again. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we'll say call small two. You know what we should do? We should not do like so much repetitive work. Why don't we just make a mix in out of this? We'll call it mix in footer unit. And that will be a uh, call small two. And then inside of that will be a, a H4, it looks like, because it's kind of like a title. H4, and uh, this is a title. and then a ul and then li and then inside of that it's like actually i know we can do li's here now uh, one two three four here's some li's i love dummy text it makes me feel so smart all right now i'm gonna say plus call the un footer unit right footer unit and I'm going to do that six times one two three four five six and scroll down look at that we have an official we have an official uh, footer we need some some padding on the bottom of that footer padding Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Because we have another item that that is in our footer. We're not footer. We're not done yet. We have this copyright thing here, down here, and it's kind of. You can see there's kind of like a big uh, gap between the footer and the copyright, right? It's like maybe like, I don't know, like twenty or thirty pixels. So let's jump into a new row. Ooh. Yeah, that's fine. It actually, you know why this why this rule is jumping outside of our grid because it's not inside of a column. So I want to say put it inside of a call dash sm dash twelve. Now it should jump in. Ah, what did I do? Row footer. Oh, row dot. Okay, that wasn't it wasn't the column. So that now we have a clean clean uh, you know edge right there. Okay, stick with us. We're almost done, guys. I'm going to do this row, and I'm going to say the uh, same thing. Call small uh, 12, yeah. And then I'm going to say text right, and I'm going to say text muted. And then it's going to be copy right, cop copyright. Your mom. 2007 because she's old school 
Dios muy. Oh no. Okay. And then I need need this also to be. I need to put some style on this uh, last class here or this last container, and it needs a uh, style equals padding ten on the top. No, 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 no. Like twenty on the top, zero on the sides, and like forty on the bottom. All right, let's check her out. Let's see what we got. We got, dude, we did this. We did this and we're done. And it took us only, you know, maybe like two hours. But like we literally laid out a whole uh, homepage of a blog or something. There's no, you know, I mean, but like think about that. Think about, like I know this is a YouTube video, but like everything was like live, right? Like we did it all together. And if you're following along, in less than a half a day, we like laid out a really awesome front page and and maybe that's it could have been faster if i wasn't talking like an idiot so many times or making so much mistakes but the point is we did it and it's done and it's awesome the only css we had to write ourselves was i think what like four four css rules that we wrote ourselves the rest of it was just completely bootstrap which is cool i guess it, i mean it's, it's actually impressive <laughs> like it's a, it's impressive for bootstrap i think i don't use bootstrap a lot so i i wasn't i wasn't quite sure what to expect but let me, let me show you what this is cool. Um, we haven't checked this yet, but Bootstrap is responsive. So if I start scrunching in this screen, this should all be like, oh, yeah, it got smaller. All right, smaller. Yoink, smaller. Ah! And then as you get into, that's pretty small right there. But as you get into like a, like from going from a tablet to a, a phone, you know, like maybe a wide smartphone at this time. But as you get even smaller, this is all gonna, Man, that's great. These tabs need to work, but like that's gonna need extra work. And but yeah, it's cool. Like it's responsive. Check that out. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And there could be some things you could tighten it up with, but I think generally it's good. It's good. We did a good job. Hmm.